two. I'm Katie Brown, and this piece is by Philip Perlstein, who was the first artist to work at Graphic Studio at the University of South Florida. And uh, it's in, been in my living room, and I'm already missing it for the show <laughs> here. We're all missing our, our pictures. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I don't have anything more to say about Mr. Perlstein. But it, this is not typical of his later work, which are mainly nudes. My name is Rita Hazley. Uh, the watercolor portrait of my two dogs were, were done from a uh, snapshot that I had taken of them. The dogs were my what I called my grand dogs. My daughter and her husband owned them at, before they had children of their own. But then they d were able to get a couple of boys. Uh, the, the, the one on the left is Judgy. They're both just stray dogs. Judgy was found by my son-in-law uh, huddled in a snow bank by a parking lot, parking space that belonged to a judge over in Illyria. The, the Basset, uh, we don't know if it's, and either of them are thoroughbreds, but the Basset was when my family was living in North Carolina. Uh, it was done from a snapshot also. It was a, a friend of mine who worked in a craft co-op along with me, uh, painted pictures of either children or animals. And this is where this one came from. Barbara Brewer, uh, the painting is done by Graham Williams who is a British artist, went to Scotland, fell in love with the Highlands, and proceeded to paint under several different names. This happens to be uh, the Scottish Highlands. Uh, I acquired it from my parents, and what was exciting for me was I was probably about 10 years old. We went to a gallery on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, and I got to watch as the gallery owner brought out paintings for my parents to look at and select. So this always has an extra special memory for me because of the family connection. Mm -hmm.